we just came around this corner and there's the most beautiful view. We're hoping to catch some fish and cook some fish, of course. Looks like a rainbow trout. Ooh. Not a bad rainbow. It's definitely pan sized. He just got off the hook, which is nice. Let's see if we can catch another one. So hopefully we'll catch a few more and we'll have some trout dinner. There's our lake. That looks pretty nice. That looks yeah. looks really deep. It's nice that the wind is calming down for yeah. us. Cooking and practical testing of the titanium firebox. I really took that sort of start fire, start fires and then Kind of let it burn down a little bit. Down a little bit, partly because I'm sort of nervous. But I see what you do is you just put in a little less wood and. Well, and what you can do when it's when it's really going like this and you want to cool it down, you can put in a, a big chunk of wood, and that'll almost instantly mm. cool down the whole fire. You know, if I had a bigger chunk of wood, I, I would have even done that. Because those bigger pieces will take a while before they actually start contributing to the heat. Mm -hmm. So they kind of end up smothering it a tiny bit? They, they kind of cool the whole, the whole program down a little bit. dry hash browns, but I'm going to mix them up a little bit so that the onions and garlic aren't on the bottom. Otherwise they end up getting a little darker than I want them to be. Make sure we're not getting too brown on our potatoes. Wow, look at that. Mm -hmm. How fast that cooks. 
Isn't that amazing? I just want to make sure we're not too hot for spuds. Yeah, we're starting to get a little brown. My wife just gave them to me for my birthday. Oh, they're cool. It's kind of nice you can just use one hand, yeah. so and oftentimes when I'm cooking, I only have one hand. All right, well, the potatoes are kind of mixed in with the trout. All right, looks like we're gonna kind of get a mix of all four fish. <laughs> You'll have to tell me what you think. When I'm cooking bigger fish, it seems to hold together a little better. And the bones are a little less uh, difficult to kind of track down and get out. You know, this pinkest fish almost seems a little drier. Yeah. Yeah, one of them. Like there wasn't as, as much fat in that fish. Let's try this kind of mediumish pink one. Yeah, it's interesting. It feels like just one of the fish. See, that's what makes this cake good. It comes with all this buttery cinnamon sugar stuff. I'm gonna put a little bit less than all of it. One egg. And one half cup of water. I'm just going to cook it in this pan, just like that. Put the pan down. I might have to warm the pan up just a little bit to get that butter to cooperate. Now last time I did a cake in this pan, I used the salt in between the layered pans to kind of temper the heat. I'm going to try to do it without the salt and just have a really low heat underneath. And it mixes into that top layer of cake. Now, that I think would be a little too low and would probably raise and touch, so we have to stick with this direction. It's 
nice to have a little breeze that stokes these hot coals on yeah. top. Keeps them going good. Okay. Now I need the temperature underneath to be low. So let's see if we can get these to lay flat in here. let it work. I'm a believer in checking stuff a lot. Right. It'll melt down in there into those holes I made with the stick. Oh, that's going to be good. It'll help us sleep warm. <laughs> Let's let it work. That's a thing of beauty. I think I'm going to try to get a little more heat on top, see if I can't brown it. And uh, see what happens. It's really smelling good, so I think we might be ready. Let's go ahead and pull the cover off and take a look. Ooh, that looks really good. Let's see if we can look. Ooh, I think it's done. Uh -huh. Look at that. Let's just see if we can get this cake to release and oh, there you go. There we go. Well we definitely didn't burn the bottom. Uh -huh. I was a little worried that we were getting too hot on the bottom. <laughs> but it doesn't look like it was a problem. Uh -huh. It's definitely done. It's not it's not doughy at all. So I'll go ahead and give that a try. Mmm. That's good. It's still nice and moist. Yeah. subscribers yeah, that there's a lot of people who hadn't seen something you know what is this thing now it's how did this become how did this
Let's see, I wanted this heat to die down so we had a nice low temperature for our eggs. I think this bacon's pretty close. I think it might work out just about right. Maybe one more stick in there. Not too small ones. Two of the yolks. So, well, let's see if these are done. Ooh. Oh, these are ready. Bacon is become married to the eggs. Right, you over to shove this in. We'll just have to do it in pieces. Oh, slow, yeah, that's like, that's probably just that one other piece or something. I don't need all of that. Why don't you uh, add a little to it? No, that's not that fun. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be about perfect, and then I'll drain off some of this fat and just eat out of the pan. Okay, so I've cooked all our meals on this trip using the titanium firebox. So, we'll fold it up and, I mean, just looking at it, it looks really good. I'm really happy with it. So, let's see how it folds up. And it still folds up fine. And if I put that at an angle so you can see it. Let's see. So you can kind of see that, that it's uh, holding up really quite well. I'm quite happy with it.